This is a pivotal moment in the history of the Harvard Art Museums. We're poised to open to the public. And what people are going to see is the result of almost a decade's worth of hard work, thinking, planning. And our ultimate goal has really been to essentially unleash the great possibilities of Harvard's art collections. This is one of the biggest and one of the best collections of art in the United States. And I think our goal in this project has really been to begin to use these great collections in ways that encourage innovative teaching and learning, and also in ways that really reflect how a university works in the 21st century. Light is one of the most interesting material you can think about. Art is about viewing. It's a bit like in the concert, all this sound. In the museum is light. And of course, there's nothing against artificial light. You can have perfect lighting, but in some way the natural light is more interesting because it's not perfect. It's not entirely predictable. You feel the clouds coming and going, you feel the day going away, you feel all this little change. Somebody said that art will change the world, but one person at a time. Especially like this, you can dream about the next few centuries, people coming, staying, and being changed forever, because it's, it's that kind of full immersion. I think this is fine. <laughs> yeah, so do we. It's exactly what we expected. Look, look at that transparency right there. It's a white factory. It's a factory that doesn't make dirty things. It makes beauty. <laughs> this may strike some people as slightly counterintuitive, but we're actually interested in slowing people down, decreasing the tempo of learning a little bit. So we think when that happens, the mind and the eye begin to work in very different ways. There's, I think, a kind of historical reflexive reaction here to works of art. It's that they're simply beautiful things. They certainly are oftentimes beautiful things, but when they're viewed as material embodiments of ideas and values and traditions, and emotions, all of a sudden they then turn into very powerful teaching and learning resources and now we have state-of-the-art physical facilities that are designed to encourage this kind of interaction, this kind of thinking and, and learning. Mm -hmm.